Hi, I'm Dave Warzall and you're watching PHTV4 Spotlight. Today's Spotlight is on the Air Force Junior Reserved Officer Training Program uh, Corps at uh, Shepherd High School in Palos Heights. And with me, I'm very fortunate on my right to have uh, Major Daniel Johnson and on my left, Patrick Corrigan. And uh, so we're going to take a look at the, the Junior Training Program here. And uh, before we do that, though, Major, can you tell us a, a bit of your background as a Major and in this program? Uh, sure. I, um, I've been here at Shepherd since 2009, so um, shortly after we started the program in 2008. And um, before that, I was on, served 20 years on active duty in the Air Force, worked in the intelligence uh, career field. All right. Well, thank again. Thank you for your service and congratulations on the years in the program here. That's quite a quite a haul. Um, and then, if if you could talk a little bit about what the program does, what does it look like in terms of uh, what the students go through who are actually in it? Okay. So our mission is to develop citizens of character. So it's a character development um, program, and we focus on three main pillars: integrity, service, and excellence. Trying to build those desires and passions within kids. And uh, we do it using leadership situations, learning how to be a leader, learning how to follow others, learning how to encourage and mentor uh, throughout the year. So we have four full years of curriculum for students who want to progress along the ROTC program. Well, that's quite a program. It sounds like a lot of great life skills, whether for the military or service or in life in general. So a person could join as a freshman and, and stick with it all the way through their senior year. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. This year we have like 10 seniors, um, and most of them have been in for three or four years. And then, But we get some that take it for a year or two and then um, move on to do other things in the school. There's so many uh, programs and options in, at Shepherd. It's, it's a real challenge for kids to you know, figure out what they want to do. It is tough. It's one of those nice things. It's, it's great that they have all the options. But then there's a challenge. They have so many options right. to pick from, right? Um, Patrick, can I, I want to ask you about being in the program. Maybe you talk a little bit about, uh, first of all, how long you've been your junior, how long you've been in the program, why you decided to join the program. And then I, I do want you to talk a little bit about, you know, how it's uh, affected you or, or what you've gained from it or learned from it. Uh, so I, I, I'm a junior. I've been on the, in the program three going on four years, uh, joined my freshman year. Um, personally, the program has really helped me find a lot of things that I enjoy. Uh, there's so many diverse things in this program, even within the program. Uh, we have a lot of extracurriculars and a lot of opportunities to, you know, find yourself and find what you're good at. Um, it's just a great opportunity and a great experience. What, uh, you kind of opened the door for me there. I want to ask, what did you find in yourself in, in, through these opportunities that you either know that you like or you want to do, or maybe you found, you know, that's something you don't want to pursue? Well, uh, I'm going to be next year's group commander, so uh, we're all on uh, our cadet staff. We all have a cadet leadership program where we effectively lead the cadet corps. I mean, Major and our uh, other instructor, Master Sergeant, they help. But this is, at its roots, uh, a cadet-led program, and it really uh, is a great opportunity to develop leadership skills. There's also a lot of extracurriculars that we offer. Uh, we have a color guard team, a marksmanship team. Uh, we have a green team where we go and do recycling around the school, and we also have uh, an adopt a highway section of, I think, 135th. Uh, there's so much to do within this program, and there's so many great opportunities to, you know, find something that you like. And there's something for everybody, really. It sounds like there's a, w a wide variety of things going on. And then, as you've mentioned, uh, act in a leadership role, I, I, cadet driven, it sounds like. What a, what a great opportunity for you guys. Uh, Major, I was going to ask, and, and maybe you can elaborate on, because that was going to be my follow-up, and, and uh, Patrick kind of introduced that, a lot of activities go on in this program. I mean, can you kind of give us a, a recap either of this year or the types of things that happen with the program? Yeah, um, probably one of our most popular year after year is that we have an air rifle team, marksmanship team, and uh, we find a spot here in the school. They typically practice at 6 o'clock in the morning, so they have to be committed, and parents have to be committed to get them here. But we've had a lot of success, um, sent some of our shooters off to national-level competition, competitions in Ohio. Um, we also have an academic bowl, which is um, similar to the, the scholastic bowl, quiz bowl kind of thing. And we've had some success over the years with that and sent cadets off to national-level competitions. And Cyber Patriot, I think Patrick's part of that. Uh, and we've we've done pretty well over the years with that one as well. So it's something that's a computer network defense 
um, competition. So it's all virtual and it's learning to secure your own um, your own machines and, and networks rather than, you know, it's not like a hacking exercise or anything like that. But it's, but uh, those who are tech minded and science minded um, really enjoy those competitions as well. This is, you know, uh, it's such a wide variety. It really does sound like there's a lot of different areas for that's the thing I like to do or that's something I want to pursue and let alone get a full range of experiences and at the same time develop some really important life skills along the way, I would think. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we try to throw as many options out there as they can, hoping that kids will maybe find something that they hadn't thought of before. Um, and, you know, the military, military part of that is, you know, the Air Force will sponsor some things. We have a partnership with Civil Air Patrol. We've taken kids up in in uh, Cessna airplanes and let them let them fly and stuff. So that that's always kind of cool to get to see those opportunities as well. So. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of great experiences. Um, uh, let me turn away from the program for a minute. Patrick, how about you in school? What, favorite subject? Oh, uh, chemistry. Chemistry, okay. And then is that, uh, well, how about first, do you do any other clubs or sports, even though I know that you do? Well, what else activities? <laughs> <laughs> oh, major, major's laughing. I do a whole bunch around the school. Um, I'm actively involved in both the band and uh, not in the choir program, but I do a lot of choir extracurriculars. I'm in the musical and uh, our show choir. Um, I'm also on our mathletes team and scholastic bowl team, uh, and I'm pretty much everywhere at the school. I, I get around a lot. <laughs> it sounds like you're having a great high school experience, um, and I, you're a junior. We talked a little bit before. It's you got a whole a whole year in front of you still, but uh, do you think post high school yet, like what that might look like for you? Uh, I'm definitely going to a four-year university. Uh, I'd really love to go to U of I. Uh, I really want to study uh, material science and engineering. That seems like what it's going to be for me. All right, well, good luck. I mean, that you have the vision and goal now is a long way towards achieving it, so good luck. Um, and then a final question for both of you. You know, looking back, major, let's make this year or last year, but, and Patrick, for you as well, um, you know, how about like a, a like that was a great moment or a great thing that you enjoyed doing or being part of or contributing to this last year? Yeah, I would I would say two things. Um, one is every year um, we do a 9/11 service kind of memorial thing out on on the track where our kids are walking around the track and and just taking some time to really recall and connect with what happened. You know, obviously this is long before they were born, mm -hmm. but it's but the the school really seems to appreciate the fact that we don't forget that day. Um, and it's a really powerful day for the kids. Um, and then the other is um, we have a military ball that we combine with Richards and Eisenhower. Um, so all three schools in the district come together for the military ball. And, and it's a really, it's, it's a great opportunity to see kids in a more formal environment and we have a whole lesson on etiquette and manners and all those sorts of things. And so they get to take that and actually put it into practice at the military ball. And it's a, it's a really great time that the kids look forward to every November. I was going to say, it, it, you know, it's a, a dance, right? But at the same time, again, it's the things you're listing, the etiquette, the behavior things, again, more important life skills, right. you know, and in this case, a very fun, I would imagine, social setting. Uh, Patrick, how about you this last year? Um, so I was actually on the marksmanship team that, uh, went to Ohio for national level competition. It was our, uh, Army and Air Force that were there, uh, JROTCs. Um, it was a whole lot of fun. We got to spend, uh, I think, a full four days. We were, um, in Camp Perry, Ohio, uh, right by Cedar Point. <laughs> was that part of the trip? Uh, no, it wasn't, sadly. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, um, it was a really great opportunity. Um, had a lot of fun. Uh, and it was really incredible seeing at least my development because I came in as a freshman in the Marks and Chip program as a pretty well below average shooter and now I'm up there I I went to I went on a four-day vacation to go shoot air rifles in Ohio uh, just because I stuck with it and did it for three years and I just practiced. Um, I'll say another thing uh, every year we go on a, a field trip uh, History we went to Iron Oaks. It's like a team building thing uh, in the woods. I, it was it was very fun. Uh, a great opportunity again for developing leadership skills, but also developing community. And this something that this uh, program does very well. It's especially for students who are kind of lost in high school to try and find a community and a, gr a group for them. And we're very accepting to pretty much anybody. So 
if anybody wants to join, we'll gladly welcome them. I see. It's a great, great. I mean, the things that you're both listing, all the activities, it, it sounds like a great program, a lot of great opportunities, having some fun along the way. Uh, but in your case, especially being able to recognize your growth over the years, you know, and obviously Irons Oaks, that's another great, you know, uh, experience in overcoming challenges and working together. Uh, and then a final question for both of you. Uh, as somebody who runs the program here or as somebody who's a member of it, what do you like best about being part of it in in your way you know yeah I, I think you kind of hit on it and Patrick hit, hit on it where um, it's just really the growth thing I have the opportunity I'm one of the the few teachers in the building that gets to see kids come in in day one as a freshman and then their last day as a senior and get to see them virtually every day of that time and you get to really see not just their physical growth but their emotional social intellectual academic you know all those sorts of things. Um, growing as a leader, growing as a friend, as a as a mentor. It's it's uh, it's just a great opportunity to see that. I, mean, yeah, I would think it sounds tremendously rewarding, fulfilling to watch that growth happen and them to become the young men or women that you know you can see them grow into and, and what they're capable of, right. right? What they'll take into the world with them. Patrick, how about you? What do you like best about being part of the program? Uh, I already touched on it a little briefly too, but uh, it, the community aspect. I. I think it is just a great opportunity to get involved, not just within AFJRTC and get to know the people within the program and make friends and make connections, but also within the school's community. I'm, we have a lot of service events that we help out around the school with, whether I mean, we update the fence on Ridgeland with messages uh, for the season or for homecoming or things like that, but we also... Uh, help around with school events like uh, the freshman day where we help guide these freshmen into the school and all sorts of other events where we work with the school and work with the community and it's just such a great opportunity to you know, get involved. Right. It does. It sounds like a wonderful program. Uh, so thank you both. Thank you again, Major. Uh, I wish you the best with the rest of this year, but the future, a uh, great program going here. Patrick, good luck next year and then beyond, right? Yeah. Okay, thank okay. you for coming in. I'm Dave Wurzel, and you've been watching PHTV4 Spotlight today. Spotlight has been on the Air Force JROTC at Allenby Shepherd High School. Thank you for watching.